compassion, the loving of Buddha. Compassion, the loving of Buddha, and excerpt of wisdom from the sands of Kikini. Compassion is the loving of Buddha. It happens in the state of meditation. When it means, when meditation attains conclusion, love flowers into compassion. It is free from the cognizance of all that is negative, all that is like negative. It is good beyond the body, mind, it is evolution beyond all that is available. For love and love, tremendous energy and understanding is needed. For love and love, tremendous understanding and energy is needed. But you cannot be in compassion because you have no energy. All your energy is divided. Sometimes in sex, sometimes in anger, fear, and sometimes in pain. The entire human energy is divided into these sex, anger, fear, and pain. So there is not much energy remaining that can be used for the flowering of the life. Come. Only when all your desires disappear, does that energy become compassion. When all desires vanish. Only then love becomes compassion. Compassion is the highest form of love, free from desire, sex, greed, and fear. This is why compassion is called karma. Karma is the evil and very useful. Compassion is the highest form of love, free from desire, sex, greed, and fear. You cannot cultivate compassion. Compassion happens spontaneously. When you are desireless, compassion happens. For instance, why is that a person has to speak? He has blossomed. The truth should have happened. He is suffering with anything. Why does he have to go and speak? There is no modern thinking. There is no distance, there is nothing of any of these sort of things that he aspires for. This is the flowering of the bee and the joy of emanating of the bear is a totally different kind of joy. It's totally a different kind of joy, a blissfulness. The person who lives in his own inner world of blissfulness. It is something like this. Once someone is drunk, but that intoxication that comes with the consumption of alcohol last only for a certain time thereafter you are plunged back into your 
the state of unhappiness. For some time we have come out of that unhappiness, we have experienced an altered state of awareness. But in the case of enlightenment, this is natural and responsible. It is out of the inner function. The flowing of body, mind and intellect into one. Out of that confluence, the the springs for the fountain of peace of harmony. He is desirous, compassionate. Why does he have to go and engage into meditations, thoughts, and help? Who serves the stars in the country? He doesn't believe it. It is not out of desire. In Bhagavad Gita, this has been explained beautifully. In the third chapter, when Krishna says, I have nothing to gain in the three meetings. I am not to gain the feelings. Name partners its location is. I am not to gain the feelings. You gain something. You are desire something. Something because they will desire. To do this, to do that. When one attains the state of desirelessness. Then a new consciousness arises in you, and then you engage in the light of a Krishna saint. Namely, for us, it is location is. Yet still, I engage in action because men follow the law. And if I do not engage in actions, I will be. Because of people, I have nothing to gain in the field. What is my gain when you all come to me and teach me the moment? There is no gain. Yet still I engage in this action because men follow my path. When you attend to these sessions, your thinking, your life pattern, your insights, your understanding changes from the ordinary mundane to the human. This brings transformation. When a flower blossoms, does it bother about the other flowers? Because there is a process, and because of that process, one after the other, the flower begins to start blossoming and blossoming. The blossoming of the one flower indicates the arrival of the spring. Then all around the world is green. The daffodils, the flowers, the bloom, the pink and the white. All around the world is green. To them, but then human beings are slightly different. They do not live in their essential nature. 
they live in this harmony with their nature, with their usefulness, then it becomes necessary to enter the process of evolution in the process of growth or in the way of the human The entire creation, the plant, the river, the mountain, the animals live in the evolution No flower, rose flower as eyes to be a lotus flower. And no person to come upon us to be a married woman. Christmas to come is happy in bringing out its own creativity. And when its creativity blossoms, Christmas to come flower attains to fruition. And then its beauty and fragrance is. It's in that feelings the heart of the people. It is Christmas Simone is not aspiring to be a rose or a lotus or is not influenced by the beauty of the rose. There is a paper of the fantasy. The season of the spring has come. The first flower to blossom is the indication of the arrival of the spring season. Then one after the other, it blooms. The many flowers to uninfluence quantum infinite numbers. But man does not live in his nature. He always aspires to be the things he wants. Lives in the state of dream life. He lives in the state of sleepiness, unaware of his essence and needs. Then it becomes necessary to awaken that person. And this is what the master does. He cannot do anything else. Through talk, through meditation sessions, simply ties the awakening of the person. Once the person is awakened, the process of fusion will be. Then one day, when you are desired as compassion happens. In the state of desirelessness, your total energy moves. Some to the love, meditation, and compassion. And this movement is very Desire has a motivation in it and a food. Compassion is non motivated and there is no motive. It is simply overflowing of energy. Compassion is simply overflowing of energy. Now the energy has become compassion and an overflow. And all those who really want to peace are invited to do so without any condition. You are not to give anything. You are simply to take. Master shares the key to your body, ready to receive the blessings that have been. No discipline, no bargaining, nothing is expected on your part. It is a gift. It has always been so. It will always be so. The ultimate bliss is always a gift. And if it does not have any conditional, that is why we have been calling it bliss. It is as if the divine gives you out of this overflowing energy. 
if it has it, the divine gifts you offer this overflow energy. If meditation has really happened, compassion has to fall. Compassion is the flower of energy. If compassion is not happening, this implies your meditation is somewhere wrong. Yet, this simply implies that your meditation is somewhere wrong. Compassion is the clouding of meditation. And then, love, flower of love, blossom. The stream of love is coming. The word compassion is composed of passion. To be passionate means to be in love. Compassion is just a dimension of love. Passion is hasty, hectic, and a little wild. Compassion is gentle, nice, understanding. But it is passion of the world. As you move deeper and deeper into meditation, as you move deeper and deeper into meditation, the reservoir of compassion begins to speak for The reservoir of compassion begins to speak for the deeper the roots of the tree, the higher the tree. You can see the tree, you can see its roots, but they are always in the same proportion. If the tree is reaching to the sky, the roots must reach to the very end of the tree. The proportion is the same. So, so to deeper your meditation is, the same depth will be achieved with compassion as well. So, deeper your <coughs> so deeper your meditation is, the same depth will be achieved with compassion as well. So, compassion. This is the criteria. If you think you are meditating and there is no compassion, then you are deceiving yourself. If you think you are meditating and you are doing meditation and there is no compassion, then you are deceiving yourself. Compassion must happen because compassion is the love in the head. Compassion must happen because it is the love in the head. Meditation is just a means to get compassion. Meditation is the seed and compassion is the fruit of meditation. Make yourself more and more alert so that meditation attains its function and out of that function. Love, love is the compassion. Do a small exercise. Call your day and an answer. It will create more awareness. Do a small exercise. Call the day and then answer. This will create more awareness. When you really become aware, you will feel a new observer of energy. You will feel a new observer of energy. Compassion will happen to you. And with compassion, this gives you and conviction will be part of you. 
when we really become human, we will feel a new absurd compassion will come to you and this compassion bliss each and conviction will be mine. Passion arises out of negative loneliness and com compassion is peace for out of positivity. Buddha says meditation is enough to solve your problems, but compassion is missing. If compassion is also there, then you can help others solve their problems. Buddha says meditation is enough to solve their problems. Because then you go beyond the problems. Compassion is missing. If compassion is also there, then you can help others solve the problem. He says meditation is pure good. It has a perfection of its own. But if there is compassion, then the goal has been. The goal has been. Then a higher perfection, a new kind of perfection arises. This is gold with faith. Gold is enough on the It is valuable. But with compassion, meditation has faith in this. Gold is enough on the It is valuable. But compassion, with compassion, Meditation has cravings. It is exactly the same thing when enlightenment comes. Ego has already passed. When enlightenment comes, just as a shadow play, compassion comes. Truth comes. Beauty comes. Grace comes. And this thing is comes. Is exactly the same. When enlightenment happens, the ego has already vanished, gone into all meaning. When enlightenment comes, just as a shadow, compassion comes, truth comes, beauty comes, grace comes, and blissfulness comes. All that you have been searching for and were never able to manage is just shoving on you all of a sudden. All that you have been searching for and were never able to manage is just shoving on you all of a sudden. In the compassion is healthy. What is compassion? Compassion is the purest form of love. Compassion is the purest form of love. Sex is the lowest form of love. Compassion is the highest form of love. In sex, the contact is basically physical. In compassion, contact is basically speech. In sex, the contact is basically physical. In compassion, the contact is transformed and it becomes speech. In love, compassion and sex both are.
compassion and sex are two wheels of life. The physical and the spiritual are both wheels. Love is uniquely between sex and compassion. You can call compassion fear as well. You can call compassion meditation as well. The highest form of energy is compassion. The word compassion is true. Half of it is passion. Somehow passion has become so defined that it is no more like passion. It has become compassion. Half of it is passion. Somehow passion has become so refined that it is no more like passion. It has become compassion. This is why all the benefits emphasize God is compassion. Rahu, Rahu. Rahu means one who is compassion. Rahu means one who is compassion. These are the attributes of God. God is compassion. This is just to give you alternative gas time. So you become focused on His compassion. Not your unworthiness. Your unworthiness is useless. His compassion is far more greater. You may be unworthy. That is irrelevant. God is compassion. You may be a sinner. That is irrelevant. God is compassion. He gives for no reasons at all. He does not choose or look for your capabilities. He is simply a leader. He knows what he is. And master is an embodiment. He simply shares. And he does not give permission and he says this is giving his information. When compassion is principle, he simply gives. In love, you are thankful because the other has given you something to do. In compassion, you are thankful because the other has taken something. The difference is that then in love you are thankful because the other has given something to you. In compassion you are thankful because the other has taken something from you. Also you are thankful because the other has not rejected. You have come with any city. You have come with many flowers to share, and the other has allowed to share. The other has allowed me to share. The other was the same. You are thankful because the other was accepted. Compassion is the kindness of all the time. With the flame of awareness, even all that you had been thinking is wrong, when they come back. Love seems to be a little done. And in prison, awareness acts the dimension of liberty and freedom. Love on its own seems to be an entanglement and imprisonment. Awareness acts the dimension of liberty and freedom. I emphasize awareness acts the dimension of liberty and freedom. Anger without consciousness is a destructive force.
and then without the consciousness to the destructive force, then it is suicidal. It kills you. And it kills you by the mind. See, that's one thing. With awareness, the same energy is transmitted and becomes compassion. With awareness, everything, every form of emotion is transformed into compassion. Compassion is the total transformation of your life. Be it love, be it anger, be it jealousy. With awareness, all these flowers of the compassion, the stream of compassion is The stream of flowering of the energy is compassion. The stream of the flowering of energy is In awareness, the same energy is thus given and becomes compassion. The same radiance comes to your face, but not in anger instead of compassion. The same blood flows, the same chemistry of the body, but we all have an energy and the whole chemistry. Own body changes, own thinking changes. Everything changes in the spin of compassion. When the spin of compassion comes, everything changes. Everything is transformed. You are a person sharing. The beauty and the truth with anyone that comes in You are simply sharing and comfort to the other that he is ready to receive, that he is the same compassion to the ultimate love. Compassion to the ultimate love of God. For me, this much for the audio of the meditation. However, short while, I will play on the meditation.